Roblox is getting closer and closer to having a voice chat. We all know that it's been around the corner, but it might be even closer than we think because Roblox have actually given us an update on how close we really are. And as well as that, they've also answered a lot of questions that the skeptics, including myself, have questioned about adding a voice chat to Roblox. But the thing is, we might actually all be closer to voice chat than we all think. But before we get into the video, guys, be sure to subscribe down below. It really helps motivate me. It really helps support the channel. And leave a like on the video as well because that does the exact same thing. So be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into the video. So on the 2nd of September, Roblox published an article on their blog called The Future of Communication in the Metaverse. And this article actually contains a lot of important information about how the Roblox voice chat is going to work, as I said earlier, and what we can expect from it. So let's read through it and see what they have to say and break it down further. The future of communication in the metaverse. Roblox's vision for the metaverse is to create a platform for immersive co-experiences where people can come together within millions of 3D experiences to learn, work, play, create and socialize. Fostering a rich community built on shared experiences is central to this vision and a driving force for Roblox's path going forward. As we build an engaging and civil community where people form real connections, we are envisioning the future of communication both in the metaverse and beyond. At Roblox, we believe that the metaverse is for everyone and it follows that the communication capabilities we create must also be for everyone. Different users will be will have different communication needs based on their context. Our vision for communication has the potential to transcend digital boundaries. Therefore, we are being thoughtful and deliberate about making communication safe as we realize this vision. Three fundamental principles guide our approach to the future communication of Ro on Roblox. First, communication capabilities must be rooted in the ways we communicate in the real world, especially when in an immersive 3D experience. For example, we raise our voice to reach someone far away. We whisper when we wish to be discreet. We alter our communication style depending on if we are alone or with others. We And we use gestures and facial expressions to add nuance and emotion to our words. Second, the way that we communicate in the metaverse is not bound by the limitations of physical reality. When you're in an experience on Roblox, we envision that you will be able to communicate with others in the experience in the same way you speak with someone at the park. Simultaneously, you will be able to have conversations with friends elsewhere on the platform. For instance, you may have a three-way conversation with someone next to you in an experience and with another friend on the bus on the way home in the real world. Those dialogues will be able to continue uninterrupted as you move from experience to experience or as your conversation partners come and go from the experience you are in. You will also be able to seamlessly shift between modes of communication from text to voice to video to immersive. In fact, different participants in the conversation may choose the most convenient mode of communication depending on their context. Third, maintaining a digitally safe and civil platform is paramount. Virtual communication should be governed by the same restraints we exercise in the real world. Context is critical here. In reality, you may be less filtered in a private conversation with your friend, whether it be a text, phone conversation, or in person, than a group conversation at a public venue such as a restaurant. The same will hold true on Roblox, which will offer one-on-one -on -one com communication, communication with small groups and close friends, and public communication. Virtual communication will also be a subject to the same forms of natural moderation that exist in the real world. To continue with our restaurant example, if you yell at someone during that public meal, it's likely that people around you will ask you to quiet down, or, depending on how offensive you are, you'll be asked to leave. There will be similar consequences on Roblox. Our community will be able to self-regulate and flag a user that is not adhering to community standards, and that user may be removed from an experience or lose speaking privileges. The metaverse is an extension and augmentation of reality and the standards of civility that we hold ourselves in the real world that must carry over 
to the digital. These principles have led to today's release of Spatial Voice as an invitation-only beta to selected members of our developer community. We hope to collaborate with our community to evolve Spatial Voice to make it realistic, safe, and easy for developers to integrate across all Roblox experiences. With Spatial Voice, Roblox creators will begin to test developing experience where conversations can happen in a realistic way, mirroring how we listen and respond to the world around us each day. As the metaverse continues to grow and bring people together in new, unexpected and exciting ways, Roblox anticipates that communication will have an increasingly integral role. We are embarking on this long-term vision for the future of communication because it allows us to be measured and thoughtful in our approach. This will enable us to introduce Reduce capabilities that serve the needs of the Rorox community, uphold our stand for our digital civility, and contain the necessary safeguards to protect users of all ages. We believe that a mix of the right communication features and safety measures will further elevate the shared experiences of the metaverse, and we are eager to partner with our community to bring these features to life. So, the first thing I want to point out here is actually in the first paragraph they kind of mention that they want to make it as realistic as they possibly can and mention things like our tone or you know our distance away from a person where we talk to them and even emotion along with facial expressions now look this is kind of a mini rant and you've probably heard me talk about this before Roblox are probably just pushing it at this point. So like I said, the same thing about when Arthur was coming out, you know, before Arthur was out. You can go find those videos. I said the same thing. You're Roblox, man. You aren't known for your realism. You're known for the fun you produced by allowing basically anything, obviously, within you or your terms of service, you know, which sometimes doesn't even happen because of your terrible motivation so you're just adding more work for yourself that probably won't make the experience any better in a voice chat you know what i mean like maybe that's just me but that's where i see it you know roblox you're known for your Lego style people weird physics you're known for that and you're just gonna change it the community doesn't want that. I'm telling you that now, but we move. But in the next paragraph, they actually mention the ability to shift communication modes, which immediately makes me think of Discord. Okay, I'm not saying, you know, this is going to be exactly like Discord um, or anything. In fact, it's not at all. I mean, you can't really think of any other ways to do it except Discord, you know, because Discord's the first thing that comes to mind when I think of uh, a voice chat with other people online. I mean, think how easy it is to shift from just a voice chat to a video on Discord. It's literally just the click or tap on a button. And they also want you to be able to communicate with one another uninterrupted between different games and that each participant in that call may choose different method methods of said communication so like i said again it's just like discord so for example if my friend is sharing a video that i don't need or i don't want to watch i can just choose to talk to all the other people without even watching the video that they're showing and you know it's the same thing for has i can still text them even when a voice call is going on. So there's going to be no limitations to the different methods of communication that Roblox is going to install, which is actually pretty cool. And in the next paragraph, now this is the one that interested me the most, and I think it will as well, the limitations and the rules they mention about the Roblox voice chat that's coming. So Roblox mentioned here that you are more likely to be less filtered with friends and yet more civil with conversations with people you barely know or don't know at all, you know, and that you can hold different types of conversations. Like, for example, you can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation, a conversation in a small group, or even a completely random and public com conversation with those you haven't met before. So, from what I'm kind of getting at here, I think this won't be as heavily moderated as we think Roblox should be doing it. And the reason why I say this is because I think you may be able to say what you want 
But I'm saying you can say what you want. Things even outside of Roblox's terms and service in private calls. Like I think you'll be able to swear and say this and that because I don't think they are going to moderate it. At least that's what I'm getting from what Roblox has said here. But when you do other things, for example, when you're at a, a public communication mode and you're with random people and in a game or something like that it will be a lot more moderated by roblox so you can't just swear you can't just say things you know and they also got out on about communication in the next post and mentioned things like if you say certain things like for example if you are necessarily loud in public you might get kicked or banned from using these public privileges so that makes me think maybe they are going to moderate this very tightly but they're not going to moderate if you have a one-on-one -on -one conversation you know they're not going to moderate you if you're having a combo with your friend but they will if you're having a combo with you know random people you know because obviously it's two different things and i think that's actually a good way of doing it i'm not gonna lie you know what i mean but the question is how well are you gonna moderate it i mean you can barely moderate the platform as it is so then they go on to say that a beta program has been privately released to certain members and tested out but they don't say much else about it going on which you know i guess is fine i'm guessing they don't want to reveal too much about the voice track yet uh since it is still in really early beta and they did say in the last paragraph that it is a long term vision but that's really all we can gather from this roblox article and i think it's great to finally have some closure on what roblox plans for the voice chat to be like because i'm not sure about you guys and girls but this has kept me wondering for quite a long time uh, and to get you know some extra information on it it really doesn't hurt at all to be honest but yeah let me know what you guys think of roblox adding voice chat will it be good will it be bad is there anything specific here uh you want to point out will you use it over applications like a discord or other apps like that and will you stick to them even when roblox releases voice chat i think that's a very important question you know it's not like a lot of people are just gonna abandon discord so you know uh, i don't know but be sure to like and subscribe for a giant cake because who doesn't like a giant cake lol